I've been struggling with my calisthenics training and it's nothing like I've been trying super hard to get a skill and just haven't been able to achieve it. It's actually the opposite. I've been ignoring my pulling skills and been way more focused on my pushing skills. So to combat this, I set myself a challenge to learn the pull to touch front lever in only 30 days. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna be training just like a high level calisthenics athlete, like Elise Onizuka to see, is it possible? Can you gain this inhuman amount of strength in only 30 days? Now with any goal you set out to achieve, you need to make a solid plan to achieve it. So my goal was the pull to touch front lever. So I needed a good plan to get me there in only 30 days. You guys know I always bring in someone to make me a program for these types of videos. So we had to bring in the bar Kage, of course. I know some of you guys aren't surprised by this. So he made us a 10 out of 10 plan to get us the pull to touch front lever to give us the best odds at achieving it in only 30 days. The bar Kage will be explaining why he made this plan the way he did later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Day one, I had to test my pull to touch front lever to see where I was starting from. And of course, I couldn't do this skill, that's why I'm doing the challenge, so it was pretty bad. I could only pull up to halfway towards the bar, and maybe had a good five inches or so before touching the bar, so we had a long way to go, but I was feeling decently confident. This was day one, I had a full 30 days to get to where I wanted to be, so I was feeling pretty good. Now the prerequisites for the pull to touch front lever, you need to be very comfortable or just have a decent touch front lever, the longer the better and you need a front lever pull up. At least one, the more the better, but technically you only need one to start unlocking the pull to touch front lever. Now for this challenge, I wanted to make sure the pull to touch front lever was clean. So for those of you that don't know what clean form is in the pull to touch front lever, you start in a front lever with your arms straight by squeezing the triceps. You keep your body parallel by squeezing the core and glutes while retracting your shoulder blades. Pull up your entire body weight up to the bar while maintaining that parallel line until your waist is up to the bar. You've then got to resist that momentum you produce by pulling up towards the bar, resist it and hold at the bar. While you're doing all that, you have to try not to break that parallel line, try not to pike at the hips and try not to fall away from the bar as you're touching it. Simple, right? So with the training, I would train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday or Friday and then one session on the weekend if I could manage it. So some weeks I would have to miss it, but I would try and get that session in on the weekend if I could and if I felt strong enough. My training, every session started with attempts. I feel like this is a great way to train for front lever skills such as the pull to touch front lever, but even the regular front lever. Attempts is a great way because you're working with larger muscle groups. There's less pressure on the joints. So attempts is gonna work really well because all that pressure, all that high intensity is not really gonna be a high risk of injury, not as much as the planche anyway, as long as you're doing your warm up, as long as you're prepared for the skill. So attempts with the front lever, I love, and it's been one of the best best ways I've learned some of my hardest front lever skills. The second exercise in this first workout was band assisted front lever pull ups to touch. This helped me get used to the rowing motion, helped me get used to the false grip because with the rowing motion, I'm only used to doing front lever pull ups. With that, I would use a lot of momentum. So because I'm doing a front lever pull up to touch, I have to control the movement a lot more. So this helped me control instead of just kind of swinging up with momentum, I had to pull up a lot slower and get used to that control. Third exercise in that first workout was bodyweight front lever pull ups. So this would be very hard after all the attempts and other exercises like that. So I would just try and do my best. I'd usually get two reps of my front lever pull ups. Then I would just drop set it. I'd do my single leg bodyweight front lever pull ups and then all the way down to advanced type front lever pull ups. I'd only do a few of those. After that was strict touch front lever sets. So this allowed me to train the hardest part of the movement, which was pulling to the top and holding that touch front lever. So again, the better you get at your touch front lever, the easier this skill is gonna be. All right, jacked athlete. So I'm just gonna quickly go over on how I designed this training plan for the front lever pull up to touch. So every single session I had him attempt the skill. That's the best way to train for it. And it's the best way to get a gauge of really where you are and also track your progress with the skill. So each session is going to start with a few attempts of the front lever pull up to touch. The other thing I really want to focus on is because he's only going for one rep of pull up to touch. One thing that really needs to be strengthened is just the touch front lever. Also, we've got a really cool exercise that is advanced tuck pull up to touch where it's like you do reps of advanced tuck front lever pull ups, but in between each rep, you hold it there. So all those exercises are really good. Basically in short, if you want to get good at this skill, practice training for it, focus on getting a strong touch front lever hold, and then uh, just work with bands. This second session I always did on Tuesday. So I trained Monday and then on Tuesday. So this was quite mentally taxing knowing you have to train back to back. But once I got into the gym, I started doing my attempts. My holds were the same 
same, if not better than on Monday half the time. So actually when I got into the gym, got used to training back to back, it was actually okay. Like I said, we start every session off with attempts. So by the second week, my pulling strength had increased a little bit. I was feeling more comfortable with it because I'd been training more consistently four to three times a week during this program. So I was feeling pretty good. However, I still couldn't pull up to the bar. I was still maybe two, three inches off. So still a bit of a way from the bar. You could see a clear gap between me and the bar during my attempts. So still I had some progress that, you know, I have to make. So still I had to keep working hard if I was even gonna have a chance to get this skill by the end of the challenge. Second exercise of this workout was a three second touch front lever hold to five front lever pull-ups. Hey guys, man, Barkage, why? This was so incredibly hard, but I, I mean, it has to be hard. So I would do that three second touch front lever hold, then go into my front lever pull-ups. But like I said, my max in front lever pull-ups is probably only about three. That's the max I've probably done because like I said, I was slacking on push. So this was incredibly hard for me so I'd do about two front lever pull-ups afterwards and then I'll drop set it to an easier variation or add a band. Next exercise was back to haunt me. This one was my least favorite. If you've watched my touch front lever in 30 days video then you guys will know this was my least favorite exercise and that was advanced tuck front lever pull-ups to touch. So you do your advanced tuck front lever pull up to touch for a second, pause there, go back down and do this for rep. Final exercise of this workout was a touch front lever negative to hold. So what I would do is I'll do my touch front lever negative start at the bottom, go all the way down to my front lever. Then I would kick back up to my touch front lever and then hold that. So at this point, I'm around 20 days in. I've got, you know, like 10 days left to seriously train for it before I do my final attempts. So I was pretty worried at this point. I'm not going to lie. I was making this video and I was thinking in the gym, like, is this video just going to be me halfway you know, to the bar still at the end of the 30 days because that will totally happen and I'll have to post it. You know, this is my 30 days trying it and you guys will just see no progress. So I was pretty worried. All I could think of is, okay, the biggest problem is me touching the bar. My pull is good. Sometimes I even bounce and touch the bar and then I come down. I just can't hold the touch. So I just need to focus more on that. In this third workout, after attempt was banded touch front lever pull-ups to hold a touch hold and then five front lever pull-ups again afterwards. And then lastly, touch front lever max hold. I use this workout to really focus on that touch because that's the hardest part of the movement and it's the part I had to focus most on. Just coming into week four, I started off on the Monday, I did my attempts and I looked at the clips back. I was just crossing my fingers like, please, please let me look a little bit closer to that bar. Instead of two inches, I wanna see one inch away from the bar. And I was one inch away from the bar, thank God. So I got past that two week plateau, but I had one more inch left until I was actually touching the bar and could I do that in a week? Could I get that last bit of distance to the bar in a week? It seemed, you know, pretty unlikely, but you know, it's a challenge. So I just had to double down on the work and cross my fingers. Workout four of the program was pretty similar to workout one. However, there was one exercise that was quite different, which is band assisted front lever touch raises. This one was quite a fun one. It's one I've tried a few times, but I've never really trained seriously. So this one was quite fun to do. So that was it. I just had one more week left to buckle down and train. So I trained as hard as I could. Every time I did an attempt, I tried to get that inch closer to the bar. Every time I did touch hold, I tried to really pull, really retract my shoulder blades. I tried as hard as I could until it came to the end of the week where I just said, okay, on this weekend, I'm just going to rest. I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to rest and test next week. So guys, I trained as hard as I could over these last 30 days or so to try and achieve this skill. I wasn't only trying to get this pool to touch for me and to help me with my pulling training, but also to motivate you guys, because I know from past, when you see someone else make progress, it helps you make progress and know it's possible. So is it possible to learn the pull to touch front lever in only 30 days? To gain that inhuman amount of strength you see only Zuka at least doing in only 30 days, is it possible? It was time to find out. I know, I know, I know, guys, I know, I know. The camera unfocused at the worst time it could have unfocused. It's probably unfocused now, but I swear on my life, 
my waist was up against that bar. In all my other attempts, I couldn't feel anything. In this one, I felt my shorts and it was an insane feeling. I know I pulled higher than I ever have and I gained that extra inch in one week, which for me is insane progress. But I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Does it count as unlocking the front lever pull to touch in only 30 days? Let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already watched the touch front lever 30 day challenge video, I get a load of DMs saying this one really helped you learn the touch front lever and motivate you to keep training. Or if you have watched that and you need help buying parallettes, then watch this one. I made a full buying guide for buying parallettes to make sure you buy the right one for you.